we are actually on again. All right. So very good. And we are excited to just give you on an update and a preview of some very special things that are uh, coming up specifically for this, uh, this special edition highlighting a magazine. Again, the Martial Arts Extraordinaire magazine, as well as this Saturday's live presentation and special interviews here. So I have with us, of course, the uh, founder of the American Martial Arts Alliance, as well as the founder of Elite Publications, Grandmaster Jesse Bowen. Jesse, how are you doing today? Hey, Jim, I'm doing better, better, and better, man. We're we're busy and trying to make <laughs> everything happen and getting everybody excited. You know, this is going to be really exciting. Our uh, magazine has had a phenomenal uh, success. We got a lot of subscribers subscribing to it. Uh, we have uh, Grandmaster Lin Linda Denley on the cover of this magazine, and we uh, dedicate this magazine, this copy, to women in the martial arts changing lives. Uh, some great articles in there. And tomorrow we're going to have, which is Saturday, a special presentation of the Women in Martial Arts Changing Lives awards presentation. So you now we've taken the magazine and what we're doing to a whole new level. And we're all, we're, this is all happening online. Yeah, well, this is going to be very exciting. And, you know, I think these times have been really good just to really get uh, a lot of us to learn how to how to get online during these last uh, past couple of years. Great things are happening here. And I just wanted to ask you, Jesse, this magazine is so significant for martial artists and just events that we've put together, like in Las Vegas and Atlanta, different things that have happened last year, moving forward to this year. I just want to ask you, along with the other books that you've put out, like the Masters and Pioneers si series, you know, why is this magazine so significant and the focus on women, especially during these times? Well, there's a lot of really great martial arts magazines, and they all have a very specific focus. Uh, the focus of this particular magazine is to support our book. You know, this year we're going to be having a tribute in uh, Las Vegas honoring uh, Grandmaster Bill Wallace. Last year we had the Ernie Reyes book and we also had the Ron Van Cleef book. And honoring martial artists for their contributions to the martial arts so the magazine is really dedicated to those martial artists that are featured in our book. And I, I get requests all the time. Someone says, well, I'd like to submit an article for your magazine. And I have to tell them that the magazine already uh, is pretty much filled with writers because we've got way over a thousand people uh, that are a part of our alumni who have been featured in the book. So the book, if they've been featured in the book, they get the first rights to publish an article in there. Uh, and it's about really supporting their schools and supporting them. It's a part of their brand building. And you know we've created a whole educational system behind what we're doing. So we're not just putting you know, people in the book. This is not a combat fighting book. Uh, we have uh, self-defense things in there. We have traditional things uh, in there. Uh, we have health articles. We have business articles. We share the bios of the people that are in the book. We generally share about anywhere from eight to 10. Uh, in this particular magazine, I think there's 12 other ladies uh, that are featured here who are also featured in the book. But we're trying to build an awareness. We're coming out of a pandemic. We know a lot of schools were closed down and it's really easy to lose your discipline to want to be back in the martial arts classroom. You know, like your life is taken on other things. So we're using these things to build the awareness of the martial arts and inspiration and because our whole program is built around the people that are in the book, you know, so, you know, they're sending the link out to their friends and family, uh, getting you know, to students that have dropped out of their classroom 
to inspire them to come back into the classroom. So we have created a whole marketing plan. And you know, the, our marketing plan is that if you are featured in our book or in our magazine, that value should be anywhere between five to $10,000 to just to be featured in there. So we're building a value base to our magazine. So it's not just a magazine. I want to be in a magazine. It's not really that. Uh, we want to put content in the magazine that really uh, will inspire readers to want and to go and join a martial arts class. So it's about building the awareness and the motivation for people wanting to come and, you know, learn the martial arts. So that's what its focus is. You know, martial arts, you know, we, we've talked a lot about this. Many people um, uh, have just enjoyed watching a lot of things, martial arts movies and stuff. But, you know, you're a 10th degree black belt, you know, which is, you know, pretty much the top tier of everything here, you know. You know, just with so many implications here for women, especially since we're going to be focused on women as well, what does martial arts symbolize to the average person, especially to women, uh, you know, and that women are going to be highlighted in this magazine specifically? Well, martial arts is a personal development system. Yes, it's a combative system. I got involved in martial arts because I didn't want to be picked on anymore. And it really wasn't that I couldn't defend myself when I go back and think about it. What the problem was, I didn't have the confidence to be able to do it. So what the martial arts taught me was about building confidence and it gave me a tool chest of techniques and things I could do in a self-defense situation. So martial arts is an empowerment tool. And this is what, why it's so important. We want to recognize the women in the martial arts because there are so many of them that are school on, I mean, there are several ladies that's going to be recognized in the program tomorrow that are school owners. They're really making a difference in the lives of others through their training. You know, Grandmaster Linda Denley, she runs her school, but, you know, 17 time world champion. Uh, she makes a huge difference in the world when, you know, even today, her name is just that strong even with the younger kids in the martial arts, because she built such a brand that people are still talking about her. And again, that brand is her name uh, in doing that. But the martial arts empowers uh, everyone. And ladies get involved in the martial arts. Uh, they do a phenomenal job. And again, the corporate sector, they want to know. That's why in the, as a corporate trainer, I do corporate trainings. Uh, for Nike, Raytheon, American Express, and others, uh, they want me to come in and teach an empowerment course on mental toughness. They don't want to learn how to block a kick or how to take a knife away from someone. They want to know how can I get mot how can my team get motivated to have that black belt spirit that I can break through to this next level. So this is what uh, I consider as that the, the main focus is how do you have a breakthrough uh, in the martial arts? That's why a lot of the people we're coaching and working with that, you know, I'm recommending for them to become certified as life coaches to do, do these other things. Yes, the foundation of everything that we do is that combative side. You know, we, we enhance our visualization skills. We enhance our commitment skills. We learn to never give up. We learn to uh, be, be focused, but just in the visualization and the creative part of studying kata, you know, using your imagination, pretending something is happening that's not happening. So all of those things and the belt system, it is an amazing system for goal achievement. I look at that as one of, as one of the first things you learn is about the goal success system about moving up in the rank and each rank is a, is a different goal, but you learn something. So we're really uh, bringing a highlight to women in the martial arts that have mastered and that are mastering. And we you know, really want uh, for our younger kids, young ladies that are coming up, that these people can be some of the role models that they can have in their lives. 
You know, this is really significant. I, I think especially during these times for people to have role models, examples, um, it's really uh, using the word this from the magazine, extraordinary, or ex, uh, you know, just these people that are um, that are uh, uh, extraordinaire in what they do, and you know, just as we move forward during this year, we know that the stories here can inspire, impact so many people, and at the same time, give respect and honor for those that are, are featured in here. And so Saturday, we are going to be having a special awards presentation. We're going to be having a really great special guests here that will be coming in to join us uh, to highlight the launch of this magazine, as well as just the martial arts spirit and heart of the martial arts as a whole. Any final thoughts from you, Jesse, before we uh, end out here today? No. Uh, hey, everyone, you know, check out the magazine. Uh, uh, we, you know, you can go to Amazon. It's probably the easiest and fastest way to get a copy. You can go to Amazon, you know, Google the magazine. It'll pop up and order it. And within a couple of days, it'll be at your home. And so, yeah, just go to Amazon and order the magazine. Uh, you can go to our website, which is Husu in the Martial Arts dot com and you can subscribe and we'll drop an issue to you next month uh we're featuring bill wallace on the cover the following month it will be michael jai white the following month is jeff smith uh and you know we're building that list of people we're going to feature and also remember check out our authors you know uh, robert nichols is launching his author's website so we're really we are publishing for martial artists. So if you've uh, been thinking about writing a book, maybe you've got one stuck away, you've been writing it for the past 10 years, then, you know, give me a call 919-618-8075 or inbox me uh, through social media or go to our website, www.elitepublications.org and learn about our programs. We want to help you. We've just launched a podcast with Karen Eden Herdman. We have some workshops that we're going to be doing on, doing on becoming an author. Yeah, and uh, already there's uh, been our prototype um, uh, mastery course in terms of being an authorpreneur. And Jesse, you've been doing a phenomenal job there. People are, are excited about getting their, their ebook out as well from a business perspective as well. And just the discipline uh, that you exemplify through your 10 10 uh, 10th degree black belt uh, really shows in the training that you've been giving to them. Of course, those are emphasizing more the business aspect of things, but it just shows um, that the people in this field, as they are highlighted, have so many special abilities to be able to help uh, just the real world and things with the discipline and character and still being a martial artist. So join us this Saturday. It's going to be at 11 a.m. Uh, e, uh, PST or 2 p.m. EST um, and catch us on uh, the links here as well. But also make sure you contact Jesse uh, Bowen to be able to be featured in the magazine. See if you qualify for some of the special programs as well. And let us help you tell your story. And this is Jim T. Chong, the walk star and publicist for Elite Publications, along with Jesse Bowen. And he is the founder doing great things and really representative of uh, all of you, the martial arts extraordinaire. Bye-bye.